So guys, we are live in my workshop. Um, I'm starting on my Orson Randall Iron Fist uh, cosplay. By starting, I mean I already made the mask, which will be in the following clip. Uh, but right now, it is three days before Rhode Island Comic Con. Three days, not four days. Three days before Rhode Island Comic Con, with Halloween being tomorrow, so that's pretty much a washout day. So I'm going to bang out this costume in a couple of days. Really looking forward to seeing how it's going to go. And like my plan is... Friday to be Wolverine and then I can trim these chops down to a normal reasonable length and do a regular beard and then I can get my hair cut when I get back on Monday or Tuesday but uh yeah so we'll be on Friday Orson Randall on Saturday to be determined on Sunday so that's what's going on I'm gonna take you guys through make a quick video of the pieces that I've got so far be well guys too sweet so first up is a pretty standard uh, like a knockoff knit sweater. Um, I wanted it to look a little bit more woolish, but there's not much I can do. Um, the character, I believe, fought in World War II in the South Pacific, so maybe a lighter green um, in, in terms of density of fabric is good, and I'm going to weather it, make it look like it's world-worn, probably weather up this collar a bit so it's definitely worn, maybe a little wear there. I'm going to emblazon the uh, Iron Fist logo on there, Sleeves, I'm not going to do too much, some wear and tear, I'm sure, but uh, this is going to be rolled up a bit, and then my wrists and fists are going to be covered in kung fu style wraps, so that's what that is. And the green is, um, these neon lights aren't doing a great job of picking it up, but that's pretty similar there. So just to give you a clue where I am now, I, uh, I stenciled that on there, stippled it on with, uh, you can see, just some, a piece of sponge and some paint, and I stippled and took most of it off, and just dab, 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 dab it on there, and built up layers, and now I'm, I'm really on the last layer, and what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm taking my heat gun, and I'm just applying low heat from a distance to let that paint set, and all it is, goodness gracious, honest truth, is apple barrel black matte paint, so you can do this, I have some fabric paint as well, but I wanted this look, so that's where we are. Now, like I said, I made the mask. Um, I'm going to airbrush it, add some details, uh, dampen the color a little bit because it's really bright. But I'm pretty happy with it. I have some white mesh that's going to go in front of the eyes. And I'm going to put it on for a second and let you guys see it. So, this is the mask. Um, the hard part is uh, a Batman cowl from uh, The Dark Knight, which Kenny gave me. Thank you, baby. And I cut the ears off and trim the sides down just so it has a hard uh, surface. Keep putting my hand in front of the new camera. Um, these are just EVA foam pieces that I cut and shaped with a heat gun. This fabric is a stretch yellow lycra. And what I'm going to go and do is pin this all back a little bit more with some super glue. I'm going to take an airbrush and I'm going to airbrush all around this and just make it a little bit darker and sunken in to show some recess wear and tear. Um, hit these creases, dirty them up a little bit. And also these folds and stuff just need a little love. This is going to have some wear and tear down here, you know, feather it up with a pair of scissors, you know, because it's been in the jungles of Japan and all over, you know, the goddamn uh, West Coast. So, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like now. I'm very happy with it, and I think it'll look great with a way shorter beard, which will be about this length. So, be well. So, as far as Orson's guns go, I know they're not 1911s, uh, but they are handguns they're sort of a knockoff of existing handguns and they do this I'm probably going to take the batteries out just for the less weight so that I'm not carrying around so much I know a couple of batteries is heavy but all day it is um, they come in a green and orange I'm gonna leave the orange tip for convention safety but the rest of it I'm gonna be painting it as realistic as possible and weathering it I'm probably gonna do that on a live stream on my Instagram that will have happened by the time you see this. So that's what those are, both of them. You know. So that's what's up. So here's the build done and dusted. It's uh, it's all set, it just needed weathering and that's what I tackled next. Also, show you the wraps. These are the hand wraps I did, just real simple, and then dirtied everything up. Getting ready to meet no, Finn no, Jones. No, season 11, season one. So at the con, I got to meet Finn. He was a great guy, called me the OG Iron Fist. I recommend meeting him if you get the chance.